I have Mercedes Martinez with me right now. She has a big match coming up this weekend. A uh, lot to get into. Talk about Turning Point, facing Mickey James, your run in Impact Wrestling. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. There, there's a bunch of stuff going on before we get to Turning Point. Uh, there's going to be some TV tapings, but there's a, you have a meet and greet set up for Sunday night. Uh, fans will get a chance to meet you. Uh, but Turning Point, the title match is the big uh, the big thing for you this weekend. Uh, you get to face Mickey James for the title. Um, and it, it's kind of a, a cool take that she actually just posted. She said she's counting down the days. 40 plus years of experience combined, not something you hear in women's wrestling very often. I thought that was nice because more often than not, or at least lately, you hear this argument that uh, age is being used against female performers. She's using it as a mm-hmm. selling point, you know, showing that you guys have a lot to offer, knowledge, you know, experience, your tenure. What are your thoughts on hearing her say that? And what are your thoughts on just, you know, the, the challenge in general? Uh, my thoughts on hearing that, and, and I seen the tweet, is um, I think it's great. I mean, we both have, you know, both of us combined, it's about 40, 41 years combined of experience and talent in this business. We've seen it all um, in our careers. And, you know, we want to make sure, and I think that's the point that she's trying to sell, is that it doesn't matter um, what our age is, that we can still go and we can still deliver. It's really the biggest thing. Um, experience talks. And, you know, if we can still deliver in that ring and give everybody a great match and in- let everyone see what we still can deliver, then, um, you know, it doesn't matter what our age is. And I think that's uh, the whole, no pun intended, but yeah, that's the whole turning point of this whole thing is, you know, you have two veterans in this business who's seen it all, who's been in companies, you know, back and forth, and is now getting a chance to be put pitted against one each other for the championship title, um, for the knockouts world championship title. And we're going to show the world that, you know, experience does matter. Experience does talk. And, you know, no matter what goes on in our careers, that this is the match that you want to see. You're going to see something different. You're going to see something entertaining and exciting and just tune in to see what two veterans of this business who's seen it all and done it all are going to do to each other for one of the most coveted prize in business. You've been open in addition to, you know, what you just shared. You've been open to saying your work should speak for itself Mm -hmm. no matter what age you are. What other steps do you think need to happen to kind of erase that stigma? I think it really comes down to what your talent is, what you can bring to the table. Um, You know, they have companies across the board, whether it's 30 or 35, whatever age limit they want to put on us females. I don't understand why. I think you owe it to us female wrestlers to put this age limit on us. Why is there an age limit on us but not on the male wrestlers? What is so different um, from them that we cannot, that, you know, what is so different between them and us that makes such an, an issue that age is such, such an issue? You know, you have the men competing way past their 40s and they're way better shape and they're just in their prime and they're just you know kicking ass literally in that ring past the age limit for the females and we can do the same i think what has to happen is they have to look at us and just say if you can still deliver and you can still go then go do what you need to do do your job and do what you love to do it's not really up to them to tell us what our age what age it is for us to stop. I think it comes also down to that, yes, you know, the younger talent is feistier. The younger talent may be more spontaneous. Maybe they're doing crazy stuff in the ring. Um, You know, maybe that's what it is that they see. Maybe ratings go up. I'm not sure. I think it just really comes down to, well, maybe you need to put this younger talent with someone like a Mickey James or someone like a Mercedes, someone who's been in this business for a long time and teach them and help elevate their game. Um, Because you don't want to put these younger talent in a position that they're not ready for. And, you know, us veterans in this business, whether we're 30, 35 or however long they want to stop the gap, I think we have a lot to offer uh, fans and, and the audience and just sponta- spontaneously. I think we can bring a different level of wrestling that people are not used to seeing anymore. Uh, bring that old school with a new school flavor. We can mesh and adapt to any style. And I think, you know, we it's up to us to tell you when we can stop. I think most of us in this business 
know when to stop when our bodies can't go no more our bodies can't go no more and we can tell when you know our careers are dwindling down don't let the companies tell us and it's a really big issue and i think it really needs to be brought into the forefront a lot more um you know talent has to speak for itself and we as females have to stick together and we have to understand that hey no one should tell us what we can and can't do in that ring no one should tell us that you know we have to stop at the age of 30 or 35 or whatever gap that they want to put us there because it should be the same across the board for males and females it really should and i don't never understood why they put in that gap i really don't yeah and i think you know something that you just mentioned putting you know veteran talent with some of these newer wrestlers you you just saw a perfect example of that on impact wrestling tv with uh mickey james and diana peraza working together they told an amazing story that wasn't you know, like age came into it but it wasn't like condescending it was more about competition and it was told the right way and mickey came out on top on the end and she proved like she can still go she's done interviews where she talked about what it meant to her personally and i think people already wanted to say diana was the best wrestler out of anyone last year and she was elevated even further by working with a name and somebody with as much experience as Mickey. So I, I definitely agree that there, there should be some more collaboration if that's the right word to use instead of this notion that now we're going to, you know, push towards a youth movement and have all of these people that don't have it, don't have the experience without somebody to learn that from. Oh, definitely. I think that, you know, I watched the Deanna and Mickey match and it was a great storytelling. It was a match is one of my favorite matches of Mickey right now. Um, you know, and, and Deanna, especially Deanna, who's been on a tear the last year, you know, uh, just just proving everyone wrong and just literally elevating her game. And the match with Mickey just really proved her worth. It really just cemented her as one of the best in this business. And sometimes you need a match like that. You know, the younger generation and the younger talent, you know, whether no matter how long you've been in this business, you will always elevate your game anytime you get in the ring with someone who has the experience and who can still go because you want to be able to be adaptable. You want to be able to show the audience and the fans two different completely styles from different generations of this, you know, of this sport really you know you got mickey who's been around 20 years or so and then you got diana who's probably been around maybe not even 10 you bring those two together and you're going to have an amazing match because it's different mentalities different styles different ways of putting matches together you're just going to mesh all those ideas together and you're going to come out with something amazing because you have someone leading and you have someone who, who knows what to do in high situation on tv and when the stakes are high and the pressure's on and then you have someone who's willing to learn and be a sponge and i think that match itself proved to everybody that yeah there's no problem with putting the generation with someone who better and it's not condescending at all whatsoever it really isn't you know i i've always proved myself over and over again that we can level up the bar we can always raise that bar up to another level every time we can raise another younger talent up it's really just what we do it's it's just the experience that we have and if you can go you can go it really i just think that younger generation can learn from the experience in those high stakes situations from someone who's been in this business and done it over and over again and can help you that's really what it mm -hmm. is we just want to elevate everybody yeah and you know i also know that you, you have a match it's a triple threat but coming up you're gonna face diana and thunder rosa at WrestleCade, but you've already had singles matches with her when she was knockouts champion. Uh, I, I know WrestlePro was one of the matches, but that mm -hmm. having somebody on the roster like that, even though she's not the champion anymore, definitely has to give you something to look forward to. And perhaps uh, not looking past Mickey, but just seeing like how many people on that level, despite not being in the business that long like that just has to give you something to look forward to right definitely definitely you know me with me wrestling diana um you know outside of impact um has been a blessing i mean I don't, we've never really wrestled each other uh i think i wrestled her early in her career when she was brand new maybe not even a year in the business um you know and i was still making my name as well and still racking up you know my name um 
and from seeing her back then to what she is now, it's amazing um, her experience and what she actually brings to the table. I've always said that it's not a matter of how many years you're in the business. Yes, um, depends on what those what you've done in those years. Um, you know, you can't call yourself a veteran. You can't call yourself the best unless you put in the work. And Deanna has definitely put in the work and she definitely, you know, is proving herself time and time again that she's one of the top best female wrestlers out there. And, you know, working with her at WrestlePro and at 2CW, I think this was our other match, um, just proves that, you know, whether she's a champion or not, she's always going to carry herself as a high standard. And she's just one that will always level up the game and just getting in the ring with her, me being as a veteran and me just being, you know, I can learn from her as well, just as much as she can learn from me, because it's, again, bridging that gap of the new generation and the, you know, older generation. It's just we mesh so well. Everyone has to mesh together and you just want to have a good match and you adapt. And Gianna is one of those females that can adapt to anything and everything that you put in front of her. We'll have to wait and see when that match happens on impact tv uh i know you just got there but are like how are you looking at, at this <laughs> run with impact wrestling like is this a long-term thing like can you comment on how long you'll be around if you're if you're under contract or like how you're just looking at this in general as far as the next chapter in your career Oh, man, the next chapter in my career, I mean, I'm having a blast at Impact. Um, I, I would love to be there for the long term, um, you know, but I'm also just I just want to be everywhere, to be honest. Uh, you know, I want to be able to wrestle anywhere I can wrestle every promotion that's out there that wants me because I want to make sure that. Um, fans can see me everywhere that they can in those little dark, dingy places that, you know, they don't get the wrestlers very often. I want to be there. Um, you know, I want to make sure that I am available to everybody. And Impact has been phenomenal to me. I have no complaints. Um, you know, they give me matches that I've never had so far, you know, wrestling a Brandy Lauren, wrestling a Rachel Ellering, wrestling Tasha Steele, who I think is going to be a, a household name in the next couple of years. I really do. Um, you know, and, and I just think they have a phenomenal roster. They really do. And in love and their roster is a lot of friends of mine that I've, you know, been around in the business and, and you know, in the independent scene. So it's really exciting to be there and, and think about all the matches that I can have. A match with a Savannah Evans, a match with a Jordan Grace who I've wrestled, you know, beforehand, but just for the, for a bigger audience to see what we can do is just exciting and, and hopefully it will come to fruition. I really I really do. Um right now I'm just focused on my match with Mickey James and, and showing the world that two females can get in there and be gritty and show the no nonsense of what we put into this business and you know i'm looking forward to you know beating her actually <laughs> and I... cementing myself as a stable in this business for once <laughs> well, there you go you, you beat her you're the champion you're you can be a traveling women's world champion put it yeah on the, put it on the market make sure you know that my new type yeah yeah and, and and put that title make sure it's glimmering yeah that's how i'm looking at it i'm looking as you know if i'm going into uh you know turning point with mickey james i'm walking in with my head clear i'm walking in you know making sure that everything's on point and i want to make sure that people are going to see a different side of mercedes martinez and and expect the same but expect me to level up against mickey because she's not a pushover she's done it all in this business and for me to beat her cements my legacy a little bit more and it cements the fact that hey this is a goal that i want to reach i want it to be i want to be a champion in a, in a promotion in a outstanding promotion and what better way to do that and get that first big title run and help level up the women's division and impact and do it against someone who's well respected like mickey james and you know take that division to another level with banger matches uh with anybody and everybody who wants to wrestle me i have no issues wrestling the whole roster for all i care i really don't i just want to put on matches when i can and cement um and bring pride and and you know morals and pride to that title and it just it, it would definitely mean 10 times more to me to win it from mickey than anybody else on that roster i have a couple more questions before i let you go and yep. it one of the first one has to do with legacy uh as mm -hmm. i mentioned you you just got to impact wrestling your resume is growing as far as work you've done with the company but is there one match that you've had there so far that you think best represents your work to this point maybe what people can expect if they haven't followed you from 
NXT or haven't seen you in uh, Shimmer, or any of the promotions you've worked for over the years? Is there one that you would point out and you really think stood out more than the other? Man, in, in my whole career? Well, no, that's a just long time. from, well, no, like I narrow, <laughs> I'll narrow it down from the impact matches because it, uh, I'm gotcha. sure there's many that we could sit here and pick from the the entire library uh, when it comes yeah yeah when it comes to the impact i think uh one that cements uh pretty much what i can bring to the table and and i know i'd mentioned it before um in other places it was uh the match with rachel ellering um i think she's very uh she's she's a talent that doesn't get the credit that she deserves and i really do think that she has a lot to bring to the table and our match at the knockout knocks down tournament was a match that really showcased everything that i can offer it can show you know my technicianals point of my chain wrestling the power moves uh it just had all the emotion and the drama in it and we respected each other and we went in there uh just with a lot of respect but by the end of the match it was just just giving everything that we had and that can pretty much uh, let you know that hey <laughs> we never wrestled each other before but this was one of those matches that we wanted to showcase everything that we had and my job was to make sure um, that I came out of that match with a lot more respect going in and making sure that Rachel Ellering got the respect that she really really deserves and man she put up one hell of a fight I can tell you that and I just can't wait to see big things happen with her so that right there has been my favorite match so far at Impact and that's the match that if you haven't seen me or heard of me before, you need to watch that match because that's a storytelling match in its own right. Absolutely. You check that out online. And my final question actually has to do with maybe what you are or aren't watching. Uh, I know I learned from the, the DNC interview that you did. You were a criminal justice major and an SVU fan. So I wanted to know, have you <laughs> caught up on SVU and are, are you watching Organized Crime, the, the spinoff? I have not watched organized crime just yet. Um, I'm waiting for a little break so I can binge, binge watch it, to be honest. Um, I, I don't want to get into something and then it takes up all my time, all my free time. So when I get a little bit of a low break, which will be coming up soon, um, you know, when I'm not traveling too crazy, uh, is when I'm going to binge watch it for like three days. All right, there you go. <laughs> but I heard great things on, yeah, I, I've heard great things on it. And I'm just like, man, I just can't wait. Uh, so we'll have to have like another interview and I can tell you all about it and what I thought about it because I'm looking forward to it. I just got to wait like another week or two there you go. <laughs> beforehand. After, I, I love it. I recommend it. After you win the title this weekend, take a break. <laughs> go watch it. It's it's fun. Uh, turning points this weekend. Uh, Mercedes Martinez uh, challenges Mickey James <laughs> for the Impact Wrestling Knockouts Championship. You can check it out this weekend. And then, like I said, the meet and greet is uh, Sunday. Good luck to you. Uh, thanks for your time. Oh, no, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you.